So uh, every year from first year right through, you do have kind of a design based approach project. So it literally completely aligns with us as in that you start off kind of planning, then you design, and then once you design, you make sure and, and kind of prototype things, then follow through that with your final project. This room was set up in order to provide students with a prototype facility. In the old days, uh, what we used to do was whenever it came to making prototypes, we would have manufactured those prototypes from metal in our machine shop. Now, that wasn't very cost effective because the materials are expensive and the processes are very expensive. So what we did was we set up this room and we've put in it equipment which allows us to operate using MDF materials, styrofoam, uh, 3D print. So we've got a good range of equipment that we can produce most prototypes and in general they're working prototypes. In here we have a team of uh, eight, including myself and we cover all the engineering projects, mechanical and aeronautical engineering. So within the uh, spectrum of engineering, um, from the top uh, precision end, we have five axis machines in here. We have behind me so the five axis machine, there's also another five axis machine. We have several three axis milling machines and then we have CNC lathes. Everything in here is all CNC computer operated. Um, the students don't get to obviously work some of the machines, that's the staff, but all the projects come in via uh, share link and uh, drawings are submitted and we make the uh, drawings to make the projects and um, they end up with their product uh, as part of their degree course and whether it's from steam engines to bicycles to uh, turbines whatever it is it gets manufactured in here with this team. Technicians kind of are there as a safety thing they, they talk you through the product things they have a lot of experience with these different rooms and tools and, man and machines so they'll talk us through it um, and show us how it's done. For example, in uh, stage three, we did a project on transport where we learned all about the engine, the internal combustion engine. We were then taken by the technicians and they took an AC engine apart, put it back together again in front of us so we could kind of see the parts. Then they then let us do it as well. So they came over there as like a helping hand, as well as with projects and things like that, whenever you need that helping hand, they're there to kind of assist. Students come here and a lot of them view me as the guru because people tell students that I'm the expert. But I'm not an expert, what I am is I'm a, I'm a person who has worked in industry and my background is manufacturing. So that experience is accessible to all students across all our programs, whether it's mechanical, aerospace, or product design. And there's myself and there are other technicians around the area who have similar skills, got similar experience, other people have different experience. So we are a resource that students use and we're available for seven hours a day. Uh, students can contact me at any time. They can come into this room, they can see their parts being manufactured if they wish. They can go to other areas, they can go to the manufacturing workshop and see parts being machined. Uh, and that's something that you wouldn't necessarily get uh, in another university.